Many of us thought maybe we would see a top 10 Lehigh team today. We asked John Desko about that a few days ago. He said Holy Cross had the first right of refusal because that's who Syracuse had reached out to first. Lehigh was always going to be plan B. And the Orange control. Moving in together, freshman year in college, he was always there. His family helped raise me. From the first stick I picked up to the last shot, he was always there. We won three state championships in high school, a national title in college. We captained teams together. In sports, certain players are responsible. He's a member of that family. It hits everybody. And Car could tell you this as a friend, a brother, a colleague. It takes a lot for you, I know, to do this game. But I know you wanted to do this game. You wanted to have an opportunity to tell the world who Rob Cavett really was. And I know you'll look back and you'll be happy you did and you'll be happy you Teammates like Chase Scanlon can separate an offense because the recipient of the skip pass is wide open on a backside. You have time to, to think and finish. Find him from behind. Hilt balances the attack, right? The lefty right. That top six, you can put up with anybody. Although there's a few teams that would say they put up their top six with anybody too. Duke, Virginia, Carolina, Maryland. You never win. Jacob Falp, Connor DePiro with the faceoff X. DePiro 14 out of 15 last week against Boston University. Falp lost his helmet. Here comes Kennedy. Plays it to the wing behind the back. So much more space and options to work with. You can just level this place. When we talk about how prolific the Syracuse midfield is, the attention always. Are we not? That was a true attack dodge by Chase Scanlon. They need that from him. So AJ Fox, though, you see it so many times. Goalies who've never played in this building, they walk in, eyes as wide as the Sphinx, and you don't know what hit him. This kid hasn't blinked. And honestly, I, I think it's the type of game that could pave the way to an outstanding... Jamie Trimboli had two goals in every game last year. 100-plus career points. That was his seventh of the season. He came in shooting 50%. You give Trimboli time and room. It's lights out. I enjoyed earlier in control by defenders to get his hands free. Like when you watch Teat, right? Teat would, would be on a, even a bigger defender. A guy who's trying to beat him. Danny Varello will take this face off for Syracuse. Brendan McKenzie for Holy Cross. And off the wings, it's Miles Jackson. You mentioned Fox, 15 saves now for A.J. Fox. On the other end, Drake Porter, who averages 15 saves a game. He must be bored. <laughs> He's only faced nine shots. Only five of those are on goal. I think a goalie like Porter. We get to episode two, here we are. So No, we hit the over, the my ride. friend. We, we hit the over. I think, you know, last week I... I promised my grandma Mary's meatballs. I hope people got to the kitchen and were able to do it. This week, I actually got side to zone Syracuse. That, that is a tough task. I shortchanged Owen Hiltz. That's five assists now. So after back-to-back four-goal games, he's got a five-assist game. Six points in all. It's 12-1 Syracuse. So here's a stat for you. Scanlon's got 15 shots, 11 on Cage. Holy Cross has nine shots as a team, five on Cage. It's unbelievable. You know what it also tells me, Anish? It's hard to have a dirty jersey in the dome, but if this was a grass game at Holy Cross, it's one of the things J.L. Reppert was telling us. This is a program where you get a lot of legacy kids. What inspires you? Where does that come from? And in the same breath as his brothers and Gary Gate, and Charlie Lockwood, and Tom Marachek, he always mentioned Rob Cavett. Amazing. 
And when you watch today is for you with the surroundings and bringing up the memories of playing with Rob here at Syracuse, but it goes back further. The Yorktown lacrosse community is a tight bond. It's a brotherhood. I've heard it from you and Rick Beardsley and the guys over the years. Rob Cavavit was so... He was such a character, like made everyone laugh. He was big, big, strong guy, like I mentioned earlier. And Duke a monster in the circle, and Duke had a 22 to five advantage in the circle in that Friday win. It's amazing. I have so much respect for the midfielders in the women's game. There's no specialization. In the men's game, you know, you have the defensive midfielders, the short sticks, the long sticks. In the women's game, they don't leave the field. They are midfielders at the truest form. I asked Joe Spolina, who coaches at Stony Brook. Allie Kennedy does everything for them as well. Like, have you ever GPSed her in terms of how much she runs? Over eight miles in a game, Anish. Wow. Cook? Play obviously, we'll, we'll tilt that and change that. It's... It's unbelievable what these four guys are doing. I mean, I mean, three of them are true freshmen. Schellenberger didn't play. He was. Stuart Pollard jumped early. He's got something to build on.